Do you want to know what was named the number one suburb in San Diego County by Niche.com? This place right here, Solana Beach. This North County coastal community is located just south of Encinitas, north of Del Mar. It's only about 25 minutes away from downtown San Diego. So it's a little bit farther south than a lot of the North County areas. And today we're gonna to show you everything that you need to know about living here, from the places to visit, the places to go eat, to how much it costs to live here and all the pros and cons. Let's go check it out. All right, Steph, we aren't wasting any time to show off Solana Beach. We are in the heart of Solana Beach right now. Tell everyone where we're at. Yeah, absolutely. So we are in the Cedros Design District. It's one of my favorite ways to spend a Saturday afternoon. There's over 85 different shops over here, ranging from your boutique design firms to restaurants, breweries. Jewelry. And your cute little shops. Yeah, one of my favorite jewelers is over <laughs> here. <laughs> but it's a really fun way to spend your afternoon and getting your creative juices flowing if you want to come over here for some design inspiration on your home. We're only about a block away from the beach, some of the best beaches in San Diego. So you can kind of spend a day hanging out at the beach and then walking through this design district. Some of these places you're going to get a ton of inspiration. Uh, it's very artsy scene and you're probably going to spend more money than you really want to, which is fine because you can end up at either Culture Brewing or what's the winery over here? I always forget. Carruth Cellars. Carruth Cellars, <laughs> which has probably my favorite wine in San Diego. So let's go check it out. So although it's kind of a relatively small place, it's only a population of 13,000. Like for example, Carlsbad has 114,000 people. So it's a relatively small space, about two miles of coastline, uh, but it really just has this small town feel and you have everything you need here. Yeah, we started the day at Fletcher Cove and there's Tide Beach Park there that has exposed tide pools that you can yeah. go and explore at low tide, which is awesome. There's awesome hiking over here too. There's- Very active community. Yeah, so Annie's Canyon Trail is an awesome two and a half mile loop. It has all these really cool slot canyons that you can go in and explore. There's also the Coastal Rail Trail that's a mile and a half long that has a lot of art sculptures and different historical um, you know, components of Solana Beach all along the trail, which is pretty sweet. You have golf in Solana Beach. I mean, there's tons of activity in this small area, and then there's tons of shopping, so there's not really a need to leave. You have you have two big shopping centers, the town center and then the Loma Santa Fe center as well. And between both of those, you have all the big chain stores, you have all the grocery stores. Uh, I think it's around 200 different stores and restaurants that you can go to, so you have everything you need. Yeah, I really love it here, especially because if you're looking for that small town vibe, you've got it all right yeah. here little sleepy which i really like too um but active and you know people really care about their health which i i appreciate So if I'm being honest, real estate here in Solana Beach can be a bit of a tough pill to swallow, which is why we're utilizing the sandwich method today. We're gonna give you the good news, all the reasons why you wanna live in Solana Beach, talk about the real estate, and end it with some more good news. One of the best places in Solana Beach to visit, whether you're a local or a tourist. So you can kind of cut Solana Beach down into two main sections. You have the I-5 freeway that runs right down the middle of Solana Beach. And of course, you can find a little bit more affordability if you're on the east of the freeway, but there are much fewer homes available. Probably about 75 to 80% of the homes are gonna be on the west side of the freeway, closer to the ocean, which is gonna be a little bit more expensive. So as far as the actual places for sale right now, there are 18 properties currently on the market. And they range from anywhere from $1.5 million single family fixer property to a $15.5 million beachfront mansion. I mean, this place is incredible.
So if you are looking for a house in Solana Beach, majority of the homes are gonna be sold between 1.75 and $3.5 million. So that's about what you can expect to pay. But it's not just the price, it's also the availability as there are only 18 homes available, anything from townhouse to single family home, all different styles of properties, it's gonna probably take a little bit more time here than in other parts of San Diego to find exactly what you want. So the good news is you can find what you want because all the homes are here, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer. You need a little bit more patience to find the perfect home for you. I don't think I've ever seen a place that has a lunch special with beer. So we are ending the day at a Solana Beach staple. This is Pizza Port. There are six locations in total, but this is the OG location. They opened up in the late 80s, but started brewing beer in 1992. And they've won what, like 90 medals? 90 the something, yeah. 90 some odd medals. Impressive. So what you do know is you're gonna come here and you're gonna get some good beer and some really <laughs> good pizza too. And there's a lot going on over here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, you guys already heard why I love spending a Saturday on Cedros. Um, also, there's an awesome farmer's market. But the Belly Up Tavern is a staple here in Solana Beach. They've hosted some amazing acts from the Rolling Stones and Willie Nelson and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And they still have some awesome shows coming on today. I mean, post pandemic times, they're just getting back up and running again. But it's really cool to see something that means so much to the city back to life. Yeah, that's probably the, the most infamous place in Solana Beach is the yeah. Belly Up Tavern. They've had all sorts of great shows. There's great things to do everywhere and you can kind of walk from one end of Solana Beach to the other and that's one of the great things about it. Yeah, and good beer. I mean, we showed- <laughs> salads on the bar can. And they hey, have our, our, our salads. salads are ready. <laughs> which, will, which will counteract the beer here, I yeah. think. I mean, we show you guys a lot of breweries, but the reality is if we showed you one every video, we still <laughs> wouldn't hit them all. That's true. And Pizza Port's cool because, I mean, it, it's started here in Solana Beach, but it yeah. really embodies the surf culture and the laid back vibe in all of their locations. So Absolutely. I love that. I agree. You know, for just like the neighborhood pizza place, classic pizza. <laughs> Super good. I don't know. At least a nine out of ten. What do you think? And you got gluten-free, mm -hmm. cheese-free. I'm gonna give it a, a ten out of ten because I'm not eating gluten or dairy right now. <laughs> but I don't miss it. So <clears throat> that's a plus. All right, Steph, so what is like the main difference between Solana Beach and some of the neighboring coastal communities like Del Mar, La Jolla, Carlsbad? I would say for sure that this is a locals only vibe. Yeah. Um, I think that Carlsbad, La Jolla, Del Mar, those are spots that are on our visitors' radars. Um, and they also have attractions in those cities that are drawing in families and different, you know, outings and adventures. Yeah. Um, but Solana Beach, I mean, if you really want to come and have a locals feel and you want a really tight knit community, it's it's here for sure. Yeah, you have all the like high end stores and restaurants and things like that, but it feels more like a local spot. Yeah. There's also less parking. That's another thing to note if you're yeah. visiting here. So you might have a little bit more of a challenge finding somewhere to park. But man, it's a wonderful community. It is. So let's say someone's considering living in Solana Beach. They really want to live here, but because of pricing or availability, it's tough. What other communities or neighborhoods should they be looking at? Um, I would say head a little bit north to Cardiff. Uh, Cardiff. Cardiff has a really similar, small, tight-knit community feel. If you're looking for that scene that has a lot of vibrancy in their small businesses and just you their can lifestyle. Walk here. Yeah, Basically I mean, it's there. literally the next city north <laughs> in Encinitas, so I definitely would recommend that. I think all of Encinitas is going to be great, great place to check out, but Cardiff in particular, that's going to be the first place that you check out. Yeah. So if you're looking to move to Solana Beach or looking to buy or sell anywhere in San Diego County, my team and I would love to help. You can contact us at info at bestlifehometeam.com. And if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and join our Best Life community. Awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.